Hello, in some cases the need may arise to batch, update or add custom properties to your solver's files. This could be a part of migration, changing the company standards or cleanup process. The number of files which needs to be processed could be thousands or even hundreds of thousands. In most cases you're going to employ some tool to batch update properties. This could be Batch Plus, which is a part of Cut Plus toolset, that could be Task Scheduler or any other Task Scheduler-like tools. This tool will leverage SolidWorks API and open each file one by one in SolidWorks and apply some API commands. If it would allow about 5 to 10 seconds to process each individual file, it might take about 35 to 70 hours to process 25 thousands of files. Of course, it is not required to supervise this operation as it is going to be performed automatically. But that means that SOLIDWORKS license and the machine will be unoperational and downtime may reach about 3 days to process 25,000 files. So can we speed up this process? In this video I will demonstrate how to use Properties Plus utility which is a part of Cut Plus toolset to solve this task. We will process 24,846 SOLIDWORKS files, which contains 32,017 configurations and 19,291 cut lists. And we are going to add new unique custom property to each of these entities. So in total we are going to process 76,154 entities. And the whole operation will take a bit longer than one hour. And furthermore, we are not going to utilize SOLIDWORKS API, so you don't even need to have SOLIDWORKS installed on the machine to run this tool. This folder contains several projects with the files grouped in subfolders. So we have all of the different file types, different file versions, we have weldment parts, we have sheet metal parts, assemblies and drawings. So if you go to properties, you can see that this is totals to 17.5 GB with around 25,000 files. We can find properties plus command in the context menu when we click on a folder. By default, tool will load all top-level files from the specified folder. As we don't have any files, we just want to select filters and specify to load all files. Now tool scans all the folders and all the subfolders and finding all solvers files. It will open each file, traverse all of the properties, it will traverse all of the configurations and cut lists and load this in the custom properties grid. I have sped up this process on a video and as you can see it took just over 7 minutes to load all of this data. We can inspect this data directly from properties plus interface. So you can just scroll down and navigate through the properties and through the files, configurations and cut lists. So you can see some of the properties are filled, some of the properties are null because they are not present in this specific part. The property renders the result value, but if you activate the cell, you can see the underlying formula if it is available. We can hover the mouse over the icon to see the preview and the path to the file. We can expand nodes to explore children items such as configurations and cut lists. So you can see this catlet contains description and also a material specified as a formula. We can add a new property. So let's add new test PRP property. We can fill the values of these properties or modify existing properties directly from properties plus interface. So just double click on a cell and specify the value. Of course, in most cases you would want to use a more sophisticated tool to work with tables such as Microsoft Excel. Properties Plus allows to export all of the properties to Microsoft Excel for later to be imported back. Let's do that now. So and you can see the process took just around one and a half minutes to export all of these rows into the Excel spreadsheet. Let's open the generated file. Properties Plus has put the data into the convenient tables and applied different color codes to differentiate the items. We can apply filter to only show properties to the specific items. So for example, let's show document custom properties. As you can see, there are 24,846 rows returned from this filter. This corresponds to the total number of files processed. Let's change the filter and explore configurations custom properties. 
So as you can see, now 32,017 rows have been returned. Finally, let's only show cut lists and now we have 19,291 item. If we scroll horizontally, we can explore all of the values of custom properties in the corresponding column. Let's now show all of the items and fill new custom property, which we have added in Properties Plus in previous step. For the test purpose, I want to add unique value to each custom property, so I'm going to use row function and just going to fill me the unique value for each cell. Properties Plus will only import properties which have no background, so let me select all of my properties and remove background from them. Properties Plus might not recognize some of the formulas when importing Excel back to the tool. So I would recommend to convert all of the formulas to the evaluated values. You can do this very simply. You just need to select all of the cells, copy and paste values. So now all of our cells are disconnected from the formulas. Let's save this Excel file and import it into the Properties tool. I just need to click Import Properties command and select our Excel file. And this will just take a few seconds, so in our case it only took 20 seconds to load this information back to our grid. So as you can see, our last column with test PRP property has been filled with the values from Excel spreadsheet. If we expand children nodes such as configurations, we will notice that those properties have also been filled correctly. We can scroll to the very last row to explore the other values. So as you can see, all of the values have been written. Now we need to write this information back to SOLIDWORKS files, custom properties, configurations and cut lists. For that we just need to click save button. And this will be the longest operation which will Properties Plus would take. So far we only spent around 10 minutes to load properties, modify properties and push them back. When we're going to save all of our files, for me it took just a bit more than one hour. Operation has been completed, so we can now open some of the files to explore the result. We can just navigate to the file by clicking the Open in File Explorer command. Now we can just double click on a file and open it in SOLIDWORKS. As I haven't closed Properties Plus yet, this file will be opened as read-only as it is used by Properties Plus tool. But we can simply go and explore custom properties. Let's navigate to Properties command. And you can see that our configuration custom property has been added and filled. Same for file specific custom property. Now let's explore cut lists. Let's go to properties property summary and select our test PRP, so you can see all four properties have been filled with unique value. Please contact us via email displayed on the screen for more information about this tool. Thank you for watching this video.